Hello humans, I am DK86 and here I am reviewing yet another VPN service. This time it's NordVPN. I know I haven't been around for like over a year now, but I have my new studio up and running and I'm back. So let's get into it. So I think the best way to start off with this NordVPN review is to pretty much just kind of go through the basics first off. Uh, we're going to have a quick browse of their website, see what they're offering, see what's what, and then I'll show you around the VPN service itself, what I like, what I don't like, um, and then I'll show you my speed test results um, almost around the end of this video. So hang around for that. Uh, the results are quite interesting, so it's worth watching. So first things first, I'm looking at the About Us page and they seem very... Humble, you know, NordVPN, they were born in 2012, bunch of childhood friends, it's all greatness from small beginnings by the looks of it. Um, they have a manifesto, pretty much where they say that they strive to make the Tim Berners-Lee vision of a truly open internet a reality. They'll never log anything that you do. If any government agencies come knocking, they'll never give them anything because they won't have anything to give them. Uh, it sounds like a really, really good, trustworthy proposition, and they're outside of the EU and the US, so they're not under the jurisdiction of Batman anyways. So, I think that's pretty cool. Moving right along, I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff, because I want to get down to the nitty gritty of the actual VPN itself. Um, over here, it just basically tells you what they offer, what kind of features they have on their VPN service. I'll go through a few of them with you in a sec. Um... Honestly, I think it's worth you going to this website, nordvpn.com, and just having a browse for yourself, and it tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Uh, over here, they're just reiterating that they keep no logs again. Um, no matter what happens, they're just not going to log anything. Uh, so they're really trustworthy. They offer really good encryption. It's 256-bit AES encryption, which is military grade. So you've got nothing to worry about there. CyberSec is one of the features on their VPN service. It's pretty much like an ad block on steroids where it blocks malware ads. And also one thing that I found that was pretty cool was it, that it avoids botnets. So if a botnet is installed on your computer, you know, like if someone's using your computer to participate in a DDoS attack, even if that's already on your computer, if you're running NordVPN, it'll stop your computer from participating in a DDoS attack, which I think is super freaking cool, because most people don't even know when they're infected, uh, especially if they're not keeping an eye on it. So this is like a nice little addition to a VPN service that I haven't seen on many other VPNs. So it's worth taking a look at. This is pretty cool. Extra security, complete privacy with double VPN. This is a cool little feature that the VPN service has on it, which um, again, I haven't seen many other VPNs do, if any. And that's when they encrypt your traffic twice. So you connect to a VPN and then that VPN connects to another D another VPN. And uh, yeah, it, it just makes it way more secure. And this is for like, you know, whistleblowers, you know, government freaking double agents. You know, this is, this is the sort of stuff Julian Assange would be using, I'm sure. <sighs> Anyways, moving on to the next tab. Automatic kill switch. This, um, I have seen other VPN services provide this. Again, it's a cool feature to have. Let's say that you're doing something dodgy online or you're doing something private. You don't want your ISP knowing. You don't want your employer knowing, whatever. Um, an automatic kill switch just means that if your VPN loses its connection, then your computer will just disconnect from the internet. So you won't no, nobody will see what you were doing whilst you were on the VPN if the VPN was to disconnect and reveal what you were doing. So that's a nice thing to have. DS, DNS leak tests, um, again, it's another good thing to have. Uh, best VPN for peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, now, this is interesting because a lot of VPN services do not provide this or they don't like it. Peer-to-peer -peer is like, let's say that you're downloading on uh, BitTorrent, for example. That's peer-to-peer -peer sharing. Um, NordVPN actually embraces it, uh, and a lot of other VPNs don't. They don't limit your bandwidth, they don't throttle you, they don't limit you with um, data restrictions or anything like that. You can connect to a special peer-to-peer -peer sharing server through the VPN app, which I'll show you in a sec, and just go from there. So if you are into downloading stuff on BitTorrent, I'm not saying you're doing anything dodgy, but you know if you are, then this is probably the best thing for you. Next tab, 
Best VPN for multiple devices. Another cool thing about NordVPN is that it lets you use it on six devices at once, whether that's your iPhone, your Android, your Windows computer, your your Linux, your whatever. It's really cool. Even, you know, even if you want to share it with someone, let's say your family members and you're all in the same household and stuff, if you want everyone to be protected by the encryption on NordVPN, again, it's a really, really, really good proposition in my opinion anyways. Onion over VPN. I haven't seen other VPN providers do this, but I think it's another really good thing. So let's say that you connect to Tor. Uh, your ISP will know you've connected to Tor, right? And the exit node on the Tor network your your data and everything you're looking at on the exit node won't be encrypted. So what they're saying here is you connect to Onion over VPN using the NordVPN application um, and then go on Tor. So not only is your traffic encrypted along the Tor network, it's actually encrypted at the exit node and your ISP can't see what you're doing and they can't see that you're even connected to Tor. Because in some territories or countries, uh, Tor might actually be illegal. So yeah, that's another really, really good thing. And over here, uh, I just went to the tutorials page because it kind of just shows you every freaking device NordVPN is compatible with. I mean, it goes from Windows 10 all the way down to Windows XP, Mac OS, iOS, Android, Chrome OS, Windows Phone. I mean, who even has a Windows Phone? But it's supported by NordVPN, so hey, you know, if you've got a Windows Phone and you know what I'm saying, uh, Linux, Raspberry Pi, and all of these other manufacturers. Like, I know Linksys, D-Link, TP-Link, they all make routers, uh, so you can install it on that. It's just a very, 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 very comprehensive list of devices that you can install NordVPN on. Um, interesting note, comparing this TunnelBear, I know that TunnelBear wouldn't allow you to do even half of this stuff, so it's very refreshing to see a NordVPN provider provide this much support for different devices and operating systems. And of course, it's nice to end it with how much this damn thing costs. I think it's quite, um, what's the word? I think it's, I think it's good. I think the price is good. One year plan at $6.99 a month. And um, a little while ago, they had a little thing flash up on the screen where it was 60% off or something. So it was $3.99 a month. And then you know, if you sign up with them or you can ask them for special offers. I mean, they have really cool offers all the time that kind of come and go. Uh, so it's worth keeping an eye out, but I will definitely be signing up to this. Right now, just FYI, I have um, an account active with them. Um, I asked for uh, a short, you know, kind of like two or three weeks so I can review it. Um, they were really helpful, actually. They said, yeah, sure, here's your login. Go ahead, have fun sort of thing and um, review it. So I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, the free account they've given me is expiring tomorrow, actually. So I will be paying for an account after that. Um, I literally just said to them, I just want to review it. I want to test it. Um, and hopefully I can make a video about it, but they haven't offered me anything. So you know, if this ends up sucking, then it ends up sucking. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so let's jump straight into the actual app itself. And you might not have noticed, I already had it running and it's connected to the UK, as you can see here. So you get a map of the world, kind of like another popular VPN service that you've all probably heard of. And you can pretty much just go around and click on whichever location you wanna to connect to. So United States is here. And you might be thinking, hey, that doesn't look like a lot of servers. Well, you'll be interested to know that you can click countries right here at the top. And here you have all the servers and they are everywhere. I believe it's 66 countries and there's like over 4,000 servers around the world. So let's say, for example, we're in the United Kingdom. You can click the three little lines here and then you have over 2,000 servers here. Well, I think it's 2,000. I'm not really sure. Actually, it's probably worth checking that. Uh, you can tell that this is my first video in a year. Don't know what the hell I'm doing. Servers, here we go. So they have over 5,000 servers in 62 countries. I was close, but well, there you go. At least you know now. And the biggest question that most people have about VPNs is, does it work with Netflix? I've had that question on every VPN review that I've done. So I will be testing Netflix on camera and you can see for yourself. Right, so right now we're connected to a United Kingdom server. As you can see, you can select it by best server for you, alphabetical order, which I don't recommend, least loaded, so the server with the least people on it, so you should get the best speeds. 
and closest to you. They normally recommend least loaded or closest to you. I would go with closest to you. Um, and that generally works out to be the best one. And then over here, you've probably noticed it's a speciality servers. And this is what we talked about when I was going through the website just then, the double VPN, Onion over VPN, so that's Tor, and peer-to-peer, -peer, so that's like BitTorrent downloading and stuff like that. Uh, again, that's really cool. Oh, by the way, another good thing about using peer-to-peer -peer if you're downloading over BitTorrent is when you're, let's say that you're on a network like BitTorrent and you're downloading of someone or they're downloading of you, you can actually see the person's IP address and that kind of makes you vulnerable. So using NordVPN, um, it stops that from happening. They won't know where the hell you are in the world. They'll see an IP address, but it won't be yours. And it makes you a lot safer online. So even if you're using this for general browsing or, you know, doing stuff online on BitTorrent and Tor or whatever you get up to, uh, NordVPN definitely seems very secure. Now let's have a quick look at the settings. There's a software update available right now. I'll show you that after this. I did update on my laptop. I'm on my PC right now. Um, I prefer the older software, if I'm honest, which is the one I'm using right now. The newer one basically moves all the countries onto this map view on the left-hand side. And then instead of clicking the three lines here and going through the servers, you have a drop down for each country. That's pretty much the only difference. Um, <laughs> but I prefer this layout, so on my PC I've kept this, but if you want to download the latest one, download the latest one. I'll probably do that anyways, I'll just have to get used to it. Right, so CyberSec, that's that um, like ad blocker on steroids that I talked about. You can turn it on and off here. Auto connect, if you want to auto connect to a specific server, you select it here. Start NordVPN on startup, that's where it is. Internet kill switch, again you know what that is. You know what all of these things are. Um, and then you can go to advanced settings. I've already opened it up here. You have two protocols, TCP and UDP. You can select a custom DNS, obfuscated server. So if you're in a country, let's say like China or something where they don't, their internet is very censored or they don't like you using VPN services, this will hopefully get you around that. So you can still connect to a VPN server and then connect to the rest of the world and the open internet. And then, of course, you have diagnostics down here. So if you have any problems, you can just hit NordVPN up on Twitter like I have done and they take you through any issues. You can give them your diagnostics and they'll find any problems. Honestly, they have been so good uh, with their support. Honestly, it's been it's been great. So this is this the Windows application. This is running on Windows 10. As you can see, I'm connected to the United Kingdom. So I'm on a United Kingdom VPN server right now. And my IP address is currently this. That's a VPN IP address. And uh, yeah. So one thing I want to show you before I do the speed tests or before I show you my speed test results, uh, I just want to show you Netflix working on this um, because everybody always asks me that. Every, every comment, does Netflix work with it? Does Netflix work with it? Uh, <laughs> so here we go. So this is the UK Netflix. As you can see, it's working fine, it's running fine. I have tested this, it works perfectly fine. We're connected to a United Kingdom server, right? So let's close that, let's close Chrome, and now let's go across and connect to a United States server. So what I'll do is, I click the three lines next to the US, and now I'll go to closest to you, and I'll just click connect. And we'll wait for this to connect. It even tells you how far you are from the server, we're 3,452 miles away and the server is under 7% load. So this should be a good server. Right now we're connected. And if you just look here along the top, it says resolving your new IP address. So let's relaunch Chrome, hit a new tab, open Netflix. And let's see, Netflix, where art thou? Okay, full transparency. For some reason that didn't work. I did test it before I did the review and I don't know what the hell is going on. It worked perfectly fine. I think I've just launched and relaunched Chrome a thousand times. So I've restarted it. I've connected to, to this closest to you American server and I'm gonna go back onto Google Chrome, new tab, Netflix. And here we go. We're on the United States Netflix. I do not think that that's a VPN, a NordVPN issue. I think that's my issue. Um, but yeah, here we are, we're on the United States 
Netflix. As you can see, if you're in the UK, here in the UK we don't have Thor Ragnarok, we don't have Spider-Man 3, we don't have Black Panther. I've tested it, it works fine. I mean, you can click on it and watch it play, just for a quick sec. And there you go, it's working. I'm not gonna show you anymore because I don't wanna get flagged. But as you can see, the United States Netflix works perfectly fine on here through NordVPN. The UK Netflix works perfectly fine on here through NordVPN. I haven't had any issues. I've been using it for like two or three weeks now. It works perfectly fine. Finally, we got that done. Right, now, the main thing when it comes to VPNs is the speed. I mean, you don't wanna to connect to a VPN service that kills your speed. Um, and I, I am kind of obsessed with speed test. So I did um, some testing and I think it's very interesting. So instead of me having to edit this image in, I'm just gonna click it and go to full screen and you can all see it here and I can talk you through it. So as you can see here on the far left hand side, we have no VPN and my speed is 387.4 megabits per second down and 21.9 uh, up, my ping is nine. So the blue bar is download speed, orange bar is upload speed and gray bar is ping as you can see on the little legion up here. Connecting to a UK server, my 387 went down to 214. My upload speed actually went up and my ping slightly increased. You can kind of see a trend here where the ping goes up the further you get away from the UK and the download speed goes down the further you get away from the UK. With the exception of the Netherlands and Greece, I don't know what happened there. I have tested them before and I achieved higher speeds, but when I was doing my testing for this review, um, I went to be accurate at the time. So these are all of the results I got sitting here one evening, just testing everything. Each test was run three times and I chose the highest result um, on the out of the three tests that I did for each country. So as you can see here, it is very, very, very good for a VPN service. I mean, I've been using VPNs for a few years now, and this is by far the fastest, most consistent, awesome VPN I've used. And I'm definitely signing up to this and I don't care about paying for it. It is definitely worth it to me. Um, yeah, so 387 is my base speed, 214 in the UK, 130 in Spain, 120 in France, Germany is 83, the US, I got 77.5 megs, which again, I think is very good compared to other VPN services that I've tested. So yeah, take this graph in, uh, have a good look at it, pause the video here if you want to. But these are my results after testing NordVPN and I must say I am very, very happy with them. So moving on from that, I just really quickly want to tell you about the iOS app that I've been using for NordVPN. Um, it is very good. I could show it to you doing a screen capture through my phone, uh, but honestly, I, it's pretty much the same as the Windows app. You, I mean, you get a map and then you click and then it connects. Well, you tap and it connects. Uh, so I can just show you on here, you go to iOS and they show you the app on here. I mean, there's nothing really to it. <laughs> it's, it's just like other VPN apps, but it's very cool. It's never crashed on me. Once it connects, it stays connected and it doesn't even take long to connect. Compared to other VPN services I've used in the past, this connects very quickly. And of course, you do want to use a VPN, especially if you're on public Wi-Fi or you don't want your uh, mobile provider knowing what you're doing online. Uh, so again, really, really cool. And again, it does work with Netflix on iOS. I have tested it. You're gonna have to take my word for it. It is very, very good. Now I did ask NordVPN if they would give me like a promo code to give to my viewers. Uh, they haven't got back to me yet with that. I did just kind of ask them though. So if they have provided me with something, I'll add it to the video description below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my review of NordVPN. This is the app. I think it's freaking awesome. I think you should get it. And I definitely think it's worth the price. Look out for a good deal though, because I have seen some good deals out there where you can get more than one year for a set amount. I uh, can't really remember off the top of my head what it was, but there are really good deals there sometimes. Even this base price, I think is good. $6.99 a month. And then they had the, something flash up over here in the corner where you get 66% off and it goes to like three or $4 a month. Bargain, really good. Really recommend it. Best VPN I've used so far by miles. And that's about it. 
So hit like on this video if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, if you appreciate my comeback to YouTube dislike it if you didn't like it for whatever reason please hit subscribe and ring that little bell so you can see when i upload next and thank you very much for watching i am dk86 bye